Hi there and welcome to what is now episode 10 of our Game Dev Tycoon Let's Play series. We've just got a game report in from Escape from Alcatraz and Prison Adventure is a great combination. Graphics seem to be quite important for this type of game. Topic audience match is everyone for prison is good. So yeah, we did alright there. Uh, it's ranked 21, it's not bringing us in too much money but we're above the 2 million mark in cash at the moment so that's a good thing. I think the first thing we need to do what are we doing at the moment? Oh! Oh, we're doing a contract. Okay. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is maybe spend some research points and... Or... Shall we build a new... Shall we build a new engine? Because we kind of want some new... Graphics. Let's, um... Have a look at our research. Where's research gone? Individual people. Research. So we can do casual games, sequels, better dialogues, dialogue tree. Not that bothered about dialogues for um, for what we do, which is mainly simulation and strategy games. Um, graphics, again, for simulation games, yeah, we do need graphics, but there are only 2D graphics, V3 there. We want 3D graphics, V2. Uh, better AI. Um, AI is very important in simulation games, quite important in, in, uh, in strategy games as well, so tempted to do that bit of research on AI there. Uh, multiplayer engine, meh. Not that bothered about multiplayer in our strategy simulation games. And branching story. Not bothered about story at all, really. So I think let's research AI. Hit the research button. And then once that's done... Oh, we can't actually do anything else. Let's uh, do some contract work while that's being done as well. Random bits of contract work. Should be able to get two small contracts in, maybe. Okay. And let's do another piece of contract work. Let's do a slightly bigger one. 30k. Let's just pay 46k. 18k. So let's go for the 46k piece of contract work there. Market's been normalised. And once this is done, once this contract's done, I think we'll uh, start building a new engine. There we go. So let's develop a new custom engine. And, oh, what's our, what are our other engines called now? I want to keep the trend, so let's go to develop new game. So what's it called? Our engine? Random Engine V03 will this one be. So create custom engine. And this one we call Random Engine V03. And we're going to bring in 3D graphics. V2. Tempted to take away some of these other bits, but... No, let's leave them in just in case. Character progression, better AI, day and night cycle. That's all we can do right now. So that's going to cost us 460. Let's take out 2D graphics and 3D graphics V1. We don't need those anymore. Um, and in terms of sound, yeah, let's keep that in. Yeah, we're just we're just getting rid of some of the graphics, so we'll go for that. We'll save us about 80 grand there. So let's create that engine. And then as we uh, get more points towards this engine, we should get some more research points as well. And I don't care about consoles. Go away. Yep, there we go. Research points are slowly starting to get to build up. Oh, people are starting to need holidays. So let's uh, wait until this is a little bit more done. Ah, oh, now let's start sending people on holiday. Vacation, vacation, vacation. There we go. And then what we'll do is let's train this guy up with some speed and let's uh, research a new topic. Aliens! Let's research aliens. I think aliens might be good for some sort of simulation game maybe. Why not? Let's research some aliens. Probably be better with action games actually. Or even RPGs. I don't really want to put a booth in this place. We never really get anything. Let's do a small booth anyway. And then we need to... We really need to start working on a new game. Right, people are coming off their holidays now. So, as soon as this research is done, we've only got 1.5 mil in the bank. So, let's uh, start creating a new game. Oh, what are we going to do? What game are we going to do first? Let's have a quick look at a game history. So, we just did a prison adventure game. We did a space action game and a dungeon strategy game. So, it's time for a simulation, I think. Racing simulation didn't go very well for us last time. What was that? That was a average review score of six. So we do want simulation, 
Um, what sort of game should we do? I don't think uh, Alien Simulation would be very good. Um, but let's develop a new game. Let's select the simulation genre. And topic. So, we could do a space sim maybe? Would that be any good? I think it would. Yeah, why don't we do a space sim? And let's go for PC, as always. And let's use our brand spanking new engine. And let's call this... Um, I was going to call it Adventures in Space, but I think we've got something named pretty similar. So let's call it Flight Simulator. No, that's a bit uh, unoriginal. How about um, the epic journey? Why not? And it's going to be a medium game for everyone on the PC. Random Engine V3 Space Simulation. Go! And we're going to use 3D Graphics V2. Go! And everyone sat there doing nothing. There we go. Right, so. Development stage one for our simulation game. We want to focus on gameplay and engine. So let's drag gameplay all the way up there. Screw story and quests. And bring engine up a little bit. Um, tempted to get rid of some... Ooh, we can... Ooh, let's bring in some character progression. Cool. Uh, we'll get rid of the linear story. Leave in some simple cutscenes. And for people, let's think... We want lots of, um, what is it now? It's uh, tech design, design really, isn't it? Tech design, design. So who's best at tech? It's either gonna be Joe Smodley or Steve. No, whoops, wrong way around. It's either gonna be Jessica Walters or Steve. Hmm, let's go for Jessica. And gameplay is mostly design, so let's go for Joe in there. And then, story and quest we don't care about, so let's put Aiden in there. Aiden's just so bad in comparison. There we go. So, oh, we've also got game convention. That'll give us a little bit of hype for our new game. How many are we going to get? I think we got 52,000 people last time, so another 8,000 people is not to be sniffed at. One day we'll make it to the... Uh, to the top of the to the top 100. Well, we've already got seven hype for our game. That's pretty good. We're working on a new game. Would you be willing to share some information about your current game project and an interview about it? Yeah. Why not? Let's hype up the game. What's your expectation regarding the success of Epic Journey? Do you think the game will be well received? Hype game. Thank you for your time. Oh, that was a really shit interview. Sorry, but that's just the worst interview we've ever had. Uh, right, so Epic Journey Space Simulation, at development stage two. Let's go for um, AI mainly and a bit of level design. So let's get rid of the dialogues, bring the level design up and crank up the AI as well. And we can also go for better AI too. And in terms of these, the distribution between these, we want um, design kind of mixed and then tech don't we so who's the best person for oh actually let's put Aiden in charge of dialogues and then mixed let's put Steve in there and then tech actually kind of want Steve to do artificial intelligence don't we because he's the best at tech oh dear that's a that's a tough one the next three are going to be perfectly balanced really um, so I'm tempted to go for Steve in both of these. Would he be able to do that? Yeah, go on Steve, you can do it. And while we do that, let's uh, crank up the marketing. Oh god, we've got hardly any money left. Magazines, quick, advertising magazines. And hype's nearly up to 100 now. We, oh, this, this could be our most hyped game. Right, development stage 3 for our simulation game is going to be mainly graphics and a bit of sound but no world design and we want to even these out quite a bit so Ethan James you are going to be our world design maybe now nah, you're going to be graphics because you've not done anything yet so get your ass in gear uh, Aiden you can do the world design and Jessica or well, should we get I mean, what does sound need sound needs a bit more design than tech anyway so yeah, let's get Jessica working on the sound there. Uh, we'll have mono sound and we'll have a day-night sound. Oh no, we can't do that. How much world do we need? 
the day night cycle. It's space. We don't really need a day night cycle, do we? No, but we, an open world is always good in space. So yeah, let's um, let's go for that sort of thing and see how we do. We'll get good management for that as well. And unlike the last game that we uh, that we made, no one actually needs a holiday halfway through this game. So everyone's at the top of their game. We've got over a hundred height for this game as well. Right, bug time, guys. Get those defects resolved. Design 60, technology 45. Is that done? A little bit more. Oh, there's another bug. And another bug. Come on. Finish. 125 hype for it. New records in both technology and design. I am waving my, hand, my hands in the air like I just don't care. And we've leveled up. Oh, God, that means we're going to be spending so much more money on people as well. Oh dear. Right, let's release the game. Achievement unlocked. Reach level 5 with the character. Okay, cool. Happy with that. It's way too hot in our office and the heat is starting to impact our work. I've researched and found an air conditioner which would be perfect for us. It costs 90 grand. Well, I do want to get it, but I'm so low on money. Let's get it. Okay. Boost. I can boost people. And salary increase. Oh my god, we're just spending so much money on salary. Special training is available for Steve. And if I immediately get, get Steve... Oh, we can't do it yet. I want to create a game report, but I think we need the, the um, reviews to come in first. Here we go. How do we do for the epic journey? Ten! Nine! Nine! And... Come on, give us another ten. Oh, nine. Oh, that's really good, though. I'm really happy about that. That, this could save us. We're, we're down to 91 grand. Come on. Where's it going on the charts? Come on, show us, show us, show us. Show us. Rank 7. Awesome. Right, let's generate a game report for the epic journey. There we go. And you can go on holiday. And you can do some research. Let's research a new topic. Let's research pirates. And you can do some research. Um... Ooh, what should we get? Branching story, multiplayer, stereo sound. It's about time we got some stereo sound, isn't it? But it's going to be a while before we build a new engine. So let's go for a Wild West topic. Let's get all the topics. In an exclusive interview a while ago, Steve from Animalian Gaming made a very bold remarks about their then in development game, The Epic Journey, predicting that it will be uber successful. Now that the game is out in the market, the consensus is that Steve was spot on, as the game has received very positive reviews. Overall, this had a positive effect on sales. Awesome. Right, a new research. Uh, what's the next vocabulary? Oh, come on. Give me some good... There's so many topics here, and you just randomise them and give me rubbish all the time. Okay. Um, superheroes, mystery, romance. I don't want vocabulary. What the hell can you do with vocabulary? What can you, it's basically casual games for children, from vocabulary, right? Um, romance. We can do a romance simulation game and recreate singles. Um, oh, we nearly fired him then. Right, in two months the Super Tez will be taken off the market, I don't care. I've been playing the epic journey and have tremendously enjoyed the experience. Rarely manages... Rarely manages a game to blend the AI so well into the game world that you just feel completely immersed. Summary, best game ever. From Arnie Kunkel, Electric Games. Awesome. So we're still rank 9, we're doing really well with this. And we've gone way up in the money as well. That's really good. And strategy games are especially popular at the moment, so let's jump in as soon as these guys have finished. Ooh. Space and simulation, great combination. Graphics seem to be very important for this type of game. Cool. Let's... Uh, Let's start working on a new... Oh, let's wait until this guy's finished. That. That'll do. Uh, let's develop a new game. It's going to be a strategy game. Pick genre, strategy, and pick topic. What strategy games? Would Wild West be a good strategy game? I don't know. Alien Space. Would Space be a good strategy game? Probably not, actually. It might be. We could do Space... We could do a follow-up to... What was our last game called again? Why have I completely forgotten? There's the epic... the epic... What the hell is it called? 
the epic journey and so let's create a new game it's going to be a strategy game and it's going to be space and it's going to be called whoops the epic hmm the epic strategy <laughs> because reasons um, and let's pick a platform for that it's going to be PC and the game engine is random engine v3 okay because strategy is a popular genre at the moment let's see if we can nail it again so let's go next 3d graphics v2 start development right development stage one we've already got a book come on Steve there's no need for that. Right, development stage one. We want to focus on gameplay and we also want to focus on engine. And, uh, well, yeah, I suppose let's keep everyone exactly the same as before. Go. Stage two is pretty much the same as last time as well, I think. Although I think that AI and level design, we want to switch over a little bit. Switch around a little bit. We've got a little bit of hype. We could do with... Um, Get some marketing out there for this game. We've got over 3 million now. We've got nearly 4 actually. So yeah, let's uh, swap these guys around a bit. I think AI needs to come down and we want level design to be max it can be. Steve's going to be working on both of those because they are the most important parts of the game. Um, yep. Yeah. yeah, happy with that. And we're not hyping enough. Come on, hype more. Magazines and demos, come on. Oh, magazines and demos. How we doing? How we doing? Come on, guys. You can do this. Right, and development stage three. What do we want in development stage three? We want world design to be top priority and sound to be second priority. Not that bothered about graphics. Oh, no, but we need some graphics to uh, fulfill our 3D graphics V2. So let's put that up there. Let's put that to about there. Like that, for example. We could maybe even bring this down a little bit. Bring this down a bit. As well, because we want world design to be at the top, so I don't want to spend too much on the others. There we go. And let's bring in the day and night cycle as well. Awesome. And in terms of people, that's still going to give us some pretty good, uh, pretty good management. So let's go. Come on guys, come on. Game is off the market. Generated 4.8 million in sales. That's really good. Chuffed about that. We've well gone gone over into year 11 now. Um, which is... <laughs> whoops. Um, so, as soon as these have finished producing this game, what I'll do is I'll hit finish and new records in both again new manage new combo good management we've got level ups everywhere new 3d graphics level up as well so that's really good so what we'll do is let's release this game salary increase as well new research available easter eggs and rich backstory let's hit escape straight away and because we're already month three of year 11 I'm sorry to go over into a new year, I just got really excited about the popular genre being strategy uh, that I couldn't couldn't pass up the opportunity to create a new game. Um, so I'm going to save the game here, I'm going to bring the episode to a close, and as ever I'll say thank you very much for watching, until next time. Next time when we'll see what how we actually did in our new strategy game. <laughs> but until then, bye bye now.